Hi, I'm Bill Newcott. In the current issue of Delaware Beach Life magazine, I come to horse country. And who would have thought there's horse country down here, right? We all know we drive the back roads of coastal Delaware. You see people with horses, you see fences and horses behind them. But there are breeders, there are trainers, there are vast, big complexes where people are raising horses. So today we're out here at the Marsh family farm out near Ellendale where Harry Marsh has been raising horses since he was a little kid. Uh, he's gonna talk to us about his long career, successful career raising horses, uh, racing horses, and the special connection that he has with these beautiful, beautiful animals. How many horses do you have here? 21. 21. Do you own all those horses? Are they... I own about uh, 15 of them. Why horses? I mean, you, you grew up with it, but you probably, at, at some point, you could have decided to do something else. Why, why right. horses? It just uh, was in the blood, and uh, it was something, uh, I was very successful uh, to begin with. Had some investors that invested money, was successful, and it carried on. I was watching you uh, bathe the horses before. Yeah. And uh, that's not a, just a job. That seems like it's a reward for a job well done, isn't Correct. it? Correct. Uh, it's nice to have a nice, clean horse. It's, it's both, uh, it helps a lot physically, mentally as well. You get up, you take a shower, you feel good mm -hmm. afterwards, or whatever like that. Same thing for them. And it is a reward. They feel, you know, relaxed, and I think it helps them a lot with their racing as well. Mm -hmm. You did tell me that horse racing is, is a lot of it is mental. Yes. Uh, not just the driver, but the horse itself. Has to that is correct. There's a lot of problems that uh, you need to uh, address. You can't tell yourself that it's not there. There's a lot of anxiety. Where we were in Rehoboth was right next to Jungle Gym's amusement park. A lot of excitement. There are high strung horse. They're mm. racing. There are race horses as well. So it's nice for them to get their rest to come in. What do you whisper in a horse's ear before a race? Uh, make me proud. <laughs> make me proud. We're at the home of Linda and Keith Fleming here near Ellendale, and you're not going to believe the animal you're about to see. This is the biggest horse, one of the biggest animals I've ever stood next to. Come on inside. This is Keith Fleming. That's Linda Fleming over there, and this is this is Mr. Big. And we don't know why he got that name. <laughs> But uh, it has something to do with his size, right? Yes, could be. That could be. What kind of horse is Mr. Big? Mr. B is a registered gypsy drum horse. Why do they call them drum horses? In the Queen's parades that they have. The Queen big of England. Yeah, yes. The, yeah, the big, huge uh, yep. ceremonies. There'll be a man riding these, with, and he has a large drum that sits on either side of his withers. And Mr. Big is of Impressive ancestry, right? Yes. yes. Who's who's uh, who's his, who's his dad? His dad is a horse named Galway Warrior, and he came from the Queen's stable. Do you yeah. do you ride this horse? He is. This is a riding horse. This is a horse that you look at. He is broke to ride. Yeah. He is broke to ride. I've never ridden him. Oh, I have. You have? Just, yes. What's that like? What's it like to ride something this Just big? like a knight going into battle. <laughs> <laughs> you see things you've never seen before because you're 10 foot tall. <laughs> well, that's our visit to horse country. The next time you're out riding in the back roads of coastal Delaware, you're going to see these guys, and now you'll be taking notice of them, I guarantee it. So stop, pull over the car, wave to them. They'll be, they'll be glad to see you. It's good to see you. We'll see you next time.